Hey everyone, it's Mike Les, and here is some footage from uh, Dark County, Ohio, my home county of some of the tillage and planting here at the local farm that I help out on on the weekends and stuff. The season kicked off a little bit late here this year, and my first chance to jump in the tractor was on Friday, uh, April 27th, Friday night about 5.30, started working ground, and uh, that was the best start of the whole season here. Some guys did start a day or two sooner. There was some spraying going on, but uh, did see a few guys planting uh, also on Thursday, but uh, started working ground here Friday, worked uh, late into Friday night, worked all day Saturday and Sunday, covered quite a few acres. I was running a John Deere 9410R tractor here, pulling a John Deere 42 foot uh, model 2210 field cultivator. Also in this video, you're gonna see a John Deere 7830 tractor pulling a 16 row corn planter. I was not able to get any footage of the soybean planters this year. There was a John Deere 8200 on this farm pulling a 16 row with splitters or a 40 foot planter and also a John Deere 7130 pulling a Kinsey 8 row with splitters or what is that about 20 foot. So did not get them in the video this year but uh, like I said the spring come here everything uh, weather was good went pretty quick and before I knew it it was over and uh did not get anything of the other tractors and planters. As I said on uh, Friday, April 27th, when it started off here, the ground was pretty dry. And that night I got into a field of some ground that was uh, chisel plowed or ripped last fall. And it was so dusty, I couldn't even hardly see the field cultivator. It got pretty cold that night, got down almost to freezing and brought some moisture up when I started working ground Saturday. It was borderline questionable whether you should be in the field or not. Uh, all day Saturday soil conditions were pretty much like that, but uh, sun was out, wind was blowing, so it did dry out pretty quick, was able to get in there and plant. And then by Sunday, uh, and the drone footage you're seeing here was on Sunday, so April 29th, uh, my son come out and flew my DJI Phantom 4 and got this spectacular footage of uh, me working ground here. And by this afternoon, the dust was flying pretty good again. And of course this field was uh, ripped last fall as well. And uh, this field was just drain tiled I think three years ago. So it uh, did dry out pretty quick. Parts of this field go from road to road. So there is some mile long roads in this field. So you can really uh, knock out some acres here. And as I'm editing this video here. Uh, this field has a beautiful stand of corn in it and is in the process of being side dressed with 28% uh, nitrogen right now. But uh, that come to a halt with some rain, which uh, we were getting pretty dry here. And uh, the rain was much needed, so we got, uh, I don't know, we got over an uh, inch and a half so far, maybe more. Um, but like I said, it was needed and we didn't get enough that anything's flooded yet, so we're in pretty good shape. So hopefully it'll dry out here uh, next couple days and get this field side dressed and get a video of that. And as I said, uh, season seemed to come in just a little bit late here, usually around mid-April. Things get rolling here in uh, West Central Ohio, and uh, this year it was more towards the end of April. But uh, we had great weather, and pretty much everybody got wrapped up in two to three weeks here. So... Uh, Everything's pretty well planted in the area, uh, other than a couple of the dairies and livestock guys that uh, had some rye, wheat, or uh, tritico out for uh, silage that are going to mow that, chop it, and uh, work it up and plant some corn there for silage this fall. Other than that, like I said, everything's pretty well planted, wrapped up, uh, side dressing is uh, going on now, and um, wheat's growing, coming in ahead as I'm making this video. So later on uh, Sunday evening, was uh, done working ground for the day and was able to get over here and get a little bit of footage of the 7830 and the corn planter going. And this was just the uh, next field over from where that drone shot was of me and the 9410R. So what I would like to do here is, uh, of course, got the video of him planting here. And I got another drone flyover uh, two weeks later after the corn's up. And my goal is to every uh, week to two weeks here, as the corn is growing through the season, to do a flyover of the same field. And at the end of the season here, fall, after harvest, uh, make a video of the progress of the corn crop growing. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, 
like I said, that's a goal I have. Hopefully I can uh, can do it. And the preferred seed corn brand by this farm is Specialty Seeds. You see the logo right there. So uh, that seems to do uh, really well in this area. And whoever ripped this field here last year uh, must have looked the other way on this rock. But I didn't want to go back and get the loader tractor. So I was able to back the harrow up, roll it on the harrow, take it to the end of the field, and roll it back off. Took a lot of work, but I got it. And then, of course, the fence post you got to watch out for. There was a fence row right here. That would not have been good for a tire if it would have hit it just right. Anyhow, just rolling along here, and I uh, just bought a portable XM radio, have that in the tractor here. That seems to be working out pretty good. Uh, Green Star uh, Auto Guidance System, really like that. That's pretty user friendly, seems to work pretty good as well. And out here filming the corn planter again in the evening, I was going to crop out my shadow, but uh, decided not to just to prove that I do film my own videos. And these knockoff shovels just work pretty darn good here. You uh, can change these shovels pretty fast here. I think I had changed over 50 of them on this day. But uh, take the hammer and uh, just beat the dirt off. Get the dirt broke out and then uh, put this tool over here that latches on the top of the shovel. Goes in, pushes the spring in and then you can just pound it right off and slide the new one on. Uh, a lot of times if I don't hear it click on the spring, I just give it a couple taps with the hammer. Make sure it's seated because I have... Uh, and them fall off before too but uh, anyways this is a great invention uh, I think right here versus uh, changing out bolts in the field that are worn and you end up cutting your fingers and whatnot so whoever invented this uh, great job
And as I'm in the last field to work here this year, the last field I worked, um, I just popped the drone up in the air and just let it set still here. Get a couple shots. This field here uh, had wheat in it last year, winter wheat. Was combined off. The field sat idle and uh, had a vertical tail run over it uh, last fall. And then, of course, the field cultivator this spring worked up pretty nice. And when I'm working ground, I don't normally skip a pass, but uh, just thought I would for the video. So we're going to speed things up a bit here as I finish up this field or attempt to finish up this field. And just as I was about done with this field, uh, I looked back and the field cultivator was pulling sideways. And uh, first I thought I was seeing things and got out and started looking around and found this broken U-bolt. So that was on the left wing. So I had to go finish up with the 8320, 25-foot sunflower field cultivator in the Unreferth uh, rolling basket. But anyways, I uh, got the job done and finished up. It did start raining here. It was raining on the south end of the field and not the north end, but it did not rain heavy enough. I was able to finish the field, and then I was also working it at an angle. So uh, the end that did get the rain was already worked before this storm kicked in. And that is going to be it for me working ground, as far as I know, for the 2018 planning season.